Hi everyone, it's Chauncey. Welcome to Wisdom Principle 4-7. As always, your time is valuable, so I appreciate your taking the time to listen to what God has placed upon my heart. I hear the Lord saying, things are not as they appear. Many of you are feeling tired and weary due to all that has transpired within the past two years, but it's more than that. God is doing a new thing for he wastes nothing and is using those feelings to get you to a place of being emptied so that he can refill you beyond your capacity and expectation. In 2 Kings 4, 1 through 7, the wife of a man of the, from the company of the prophets cried out to Elijah, your servant, my husband is dead and you know that he revered the Lord, but now his creditor is coming to take my two boys as his slaves. Elisha replied to her, how can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a small jar of olive oil. Elisha said, go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. Then go inside and shut the door behind you you and your sons. Pour oil into all the jars and as each is filled, put it to one side. She left him and shut the door behind her and her sons. They bought the jars to her and she kept pouring. When all the jars were full, she said to her son, bring me another one. But he replied, there's not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil and pay your debts. You and your sons can live on what is left. In this season, the Lord is saying, He knows you have been through a lot, but those of you that have been feeling like you're running on empty, it is because God is doing a new thing in you. You have been feeling uncomfortable due to your being emptied of the pain, stresses, hurts, sins, weariness, discouragement, and regrets. I, the Lord, have been with you through it all. To be filled, you must first be empty. The emptier you are, the more you can be filled. You must offer God an empty vessel. God can work miracles through your emptiness. Just like the widow's faith in her desperation, the oil miraculously flowed into the borrowed vessels as long as the vessels were gathered. The borrowed vessels represented her capacity to receive from God. The more vessels she had, the more she was going to receive. For every jar she gathered in faith, it was filled. The oil would continue to pour and pour. The moment the widow ran out of empty vessels, the oil stopped flowing. God wants you to remember that you are his chosen vessel to be filled with his love, his peace, his grace, his mercy, his favor, and inexhaustible blessing. God desires to bless you to the capacity you make yourself available for him to bless. To be filled, you must first be emptied of all that is weighing you down. You must let it go freely and purposefully. When you fill your vessel with things that are not glorifying to God, you become spiritually dry and barren. You must offer God an empty vessel in order Order to receive his spiritual blessings and for every one of your needs to be met exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think 
in accordance to the power that works within you. God is not just going to refill you, but he desires to fill you to the overflowing. Despite what you're going through or what is going on globally or locally, you shall live in the overflow. Expect the overflow. You aren't running on empty. You're being emptied in preparation for the overflow. Until next time, remember, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all you're getting, get understanding.